what exactly it means if there's a crash, a market crash. So the reason why I'm shooting this video is because there's been a lot of uh, experts saying recently that a crash is coming. Ray Dalio, one of the biggest uh, hedge funds or owns one of the biggest hedge funds of all time, has predicted a crash. So um, we all got to be a bit aware of it, but I also feel like people don't exactly understand what it means. So let me give you a quick explanation, layman's terms of what, it, what exactly happens when a crash happens. So right now the interest rates on bonds, which is basically government bonds is the rate at which the government lends out money, usually to the banks or to people. I mean, the banks lend money to people. So that's, that's what bonds are. You can also invest in bonds and the government will pay you a specific interest rate back. Right now, around the world, people have been dropping interest rates to help stimulate the economy. And what happens then are these big institutions, like in South Africa, it's like Alexander Forbes and all these big companies that manage money, Liberty Life, etc. They go and they manage people's money. But when bonds are giving low interest rates, um, they tend to move their money out of bonds and put them into equities to, to help get them the returns that they want. So all the big institutions move the money to um, equities and what that happens is that floods the market, pushes the price up and right now the price to earnings ratio which means the money that a company makes divided by the, pr the price divided by the money the company makes are insane. For example Tesla is a thousand to one when the average is 13 to 15. So that gives you an idea of how inflated the market is. So what's going to happen and what they're predicting is eventually interest rates are going to go up. Um, and probably in a lot of places taxes are going to go up to compensate for what's happened with coronavirus and taxes not coming in, etc. The market's been highly stimulated. When that stimulation goes away, then the, the countries, the economies are going to feel it. And uh, when they increase interest rates, all these institutions are going to move their money from um, stocks back to bonds, how it was before. And naturally, the market's going to start going down. Equities are going to go down in value. And when they go down too much, people start to panic and they pull their money out of equities even more. It goes lower and lower. Eventually, the mass fear comes in and people just start dumping their stuff and just the market tanks maybe to about 50% of what it was and then you that's what usually happens and then it starts to recover from there so the opportunity is if you do have a bit of money don't put it in equities you can put it in commodities cash maybe bonds because bonds has taken a beating because of the low interest rates put money back in put money into bonds and naturally bonds will rise or at least uh, change your allocation of your portfolio I'm not an advisor or anything like that, so um, seek your seek counsel where you may for that or professional advice. But that's my layman's terms explanation of what happens when a market crashes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and follow me for more uh, guidance like this.